That's good. That's fine. Yes, that's the bit right here. <laughs> okay. I'll use them as well. So we'll report this many times. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Elaine. Good evening. Okay. At our last meeting last week, we decided that we had a couple of action items we wanted to follow up on before we could move forward. So we said we'll have a short meeting tonight uh, to review the results of those action items. And then see where we want to position ourselves to consider what locations. And then start briefly just talk about, I'm thinking about a 30 minute meeting tonight. Briefly talk about a bunch of heavy lifting we're going to have to do over the next two or three months. Uh, not to queue any up crazy things up right now, but I think I uh, think I will get the next meeting day. So with that being said, I guess uh, first things uh, we turn the recording on. The other thing is is uh, uh, we can take a look at the minutes. We have to approve the minutes. Yes, we have to approve the minutes. So does anybody have a motion to uh, I'll make a motion to approve the minutes here? Okay. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you. The next thing we wanted to do is take the uh, interpretation of the conservation restriction on North Avenue and Hopewell Street, the legal review. Mike and Amy to, to uh, give us an update on that. So, Mike, you Mike. have your, your notes, or yeah. would you? you? Want to run with it? Yeah. One of us needs sure. to. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Karis and David, Phil, Lynn, and I, and um, Basically, she walked us through in general terms how the process works, and we talked specifically about our project and the CR on the property. Um, so, at the highest level of the process, the CR puts land under Article 97 of the state constitution. So, basically, the legislature controls the property we're talking about right now. Nothing can be done without their approval. If something were to change, modified, or removed, it requires two thirds vote uh, for both the Senate and the House to, to move forward on it. Uh, and will require compensation of either equal value and uh, both monetary and or conservation value in their eyes. So there's a negotiation process associated with the state on what that compensation would be. Okay. For us, more than likely, it's going to be some sort of land swap. So we have town land that's not under Article 97. We would put a equal parcel under 97, maybe modify or expand existing CRs to include another X number of acres, whatever one of the land is we need. That's all subject to negotiation. And it sounds like the state can pretty much say, we believe it's worth more than, you know, due to the concept, nature of conservation value, we would probably want 10 acres when you only need five, something like that. So it's very open ended that way in terms of what compensation means. Any questions on, on sort of the process of what we initiate with the state? Well, I was, you're going to go over the steps that the process would be good. I'll listen then. In fact, the next point would be process. <laughs> Very good. You queued it up. So, first step is negotiation. We would engage with the state uh, through town council to see what the difference is, see this feasibility associated with it from their perspective. Um, determine, negotiate the required compensation, and also on our side, identify if we were to go forward, what might what parcels might be available to do a land swap, so to replace the CR. Restriction to a different parcel. I have kind of a strange question. Mm -hmm. Only because I've been reading uh, some articles in the Globe lately, yeah. and the legislature has really been getting slapped of mm -hmm. really not processing things. But the odd thing is that some of the things they were processing was like a fireman who wanted to work past the, the agent. They, they seem to be pushing those things through very quickly. And they're calling these special meetings, which doesn't require the whole legislative body to be there. Mm -hmm. So uh, is, are we talking about um, the whole legislator has, has to be there? Everybody has to be there. And yes. it's two thirds of that number. Yeah. Okay, that's a little more difficult. And the negotiation is probably gonna take place with not with the legislature, but a state committee that oversees the land and then that would be part of a bill we would introduce to the legislature. For the could, could Fat Man or Mar Murray do that? Well, yeah, well, we would probably work with town council to submit it. We work through our, our representatives to get it submitted, and we would engage them uh, sooner than later to get their support, is my guess. It was just there a second. No, just so we in another way. Okay, no, that's, that's important. That's all I have. Um, so for, back to the process, Peg, 
On the town side, there's going to be two uh, town meeting votes needed. There's going to be a warrant article required to petition the state to take this up. So we go to the floor, we have a warrant article, and we'd all vote to, yeah, the town wants to move forward on it. And that gives us permission to engage, you know, more formally the state. Uh, the second warrant article would be to back to the idea of a land swap. We need an article to basically identify the parcel and vote that the parcel would be part of the land swap to meet the CR restriction. Is there any land that could swap around? Yeah, I mean, you could look at something like over here, like Matt Orchard. We have a CR on that mm -hmm. for a piece of it. You could think about expanding that on that piece of land to incorporate more land, or there's you know, there's in and we have a lot of them. Even the attic property, yeah. right? That we just no, well, well, that no, has a lot. That would that it has to be new, new. newly yeah. having a conservation oh, restriction. Newly conservation, yep. right? That's all it conserves. Uh, and then the last piece is draft bill consideration the next available legislative session. So, and then then the long part starts with that. Um, the timing. Would be the earliest that Kara said this would be considered to be in the session that starts um, January of 25. So like a year out, and then it's possibly two sessions. So we're talking about the end of 26, where it could be wrapped up. Well, that won't work for us. I mean, we have to get it built because if we lose this window of opportunity, we're going to be back in line. I, I, I know I said you want this to go in the spring, but I don't think you should always consider this being the back of the line. Things aren't in any order, and it's always the case to be made in terms of priority. So it'd be good. The thing is, in coming to the spring, it doesn't appear to be a lot of things that are going to come up for discussion. So your opportunity is better. Right. But it doesn't necessarily mean you go to the end of the line because the school or anybody else has a big project coming up. It means that you've got multiple projects the town has to decide which to go forward on. You've got all. Right. So don't I don't want people to think it's like back of the line. There's no sequencing that's automatically right. there. Uh, just, you know, when there's less competition, it's better. Right. Yeah. Uh, and specific to, to our projects, there's three issues that Karis said need to be uh, the state would look at. Uh, the modifications of the building size is obviously the one you talked about. We need to, to change the size of the building. Building use was the item that she brought. She looked at it too and said, these are two completely different uses and you actually might have a bigger issue with building use than building size. So we thought about modifying it to CR, to make it a bigger building, but a use for a community senior center with parking, et cetera, is much different than a smaller building that's focused on agricultural, you know. So she stuff. thought that might be a drawback? Yeah, yeah, it's a change in use. So it's not just size, change it's also in use. use. Okay. Uh, and then, the, the parking lot and impervious materials being introduced with the senior center versus the agricultural building, she thought was would be a sticking point as well, because that's, you know, going against the nature of a conservation restriction in terms of natural upkeep. So there's three points there when we started the conversation. I think we all thought there's really one thing is to build change in building size. Yeah, it's a big go. deal. She quickly said, yeah, you got a couple other things you got to do. <coughs> Questions? Any thoughts or comments? I think we should abandon the site then. That's way that's way too much. That's way too much. Hoops to jump through. Hoops to jump through. With no guarantee. It's, yeah. Right. Exactly right. It's, okay. We could go 12 months in on someone say, sorry, we decided not to. Amy? Has anybody considered <clears throat> the $9.9 .9 million cost? And is that going to even fly? You and I were talking about. We figured that's really going to be really tough to sell. So, so we were hoping for, for either side. some kind of for, right for either yeah. side. We have looked at that. And I talked to Mike uh, Petrovic, and uh, Dave is also taking a look because he's got experience with this building. Scenario A, B, and C. What else? How can we? You we know, don't have a six million, eight million, ten million. Yeah. So that's already just begun. We've only had four or five days. Mm -hmm. So I think our scenario is going to be. The what is, and we're going to be somewhere less than that. Right. So, I mean, to your point, Amy, when I walked out of the last meeting, it was sort of just it was a little sticker shock for me. Oh, I thought it was higher than I expected. So, you didn't lead us to believe it. We we were thinking it was around seven, six or seven. Yeah, yeah well, we really were. It it can be. Right. 
It can be. That's the top of the line. What he designs the top of the line. I kind of alluded to it about the simple thing, yeah. the roof lines. You know the work involved cutting rafters? You do. I don't, but you do. Well, that's why I said That's why I spoke up. That's why you're here. And he, and he was going, oh, it's not that much. <laughs> you got to remember a couple of things when you deal with architects. Number one, he's not a structural engineer. Number two, his name is on it. So he's looking for, look at that beautiful building that I designed. <clears throat> Joe Bill, of the Ragman Bill. And Joe Bill gets a, everybody applauding them. You know, I had just mentioned at the very beginning of the meeting that, quite frankly, I really don't like the design of the building. Nice, but like you say, $10 million. You say it's not $10 million nice? That you're kind of yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think we all felt like that. I, I don't think anybody walked out of here saying, oh, that's lower than I thought it was going to be. There's two other issues I've pushed them on, not on the good points of my part. Yeah. Two other issues is the contingency fee of close to 10 or 12 percent, $800,000. I want a definition of what contingency is yeah. and why so large. The other area, if you take a look at the fact that the bottom line of the document, I think I share with all of you, has $1.1 million in. CPO fees. I, some I want a breakdown of that so we understand it better. I'm sure there are a lot of other fees that he participated in there, and I've asked him just to go back and do the what ifs and some other things. So, but you know, so I think we do. I, to your point, Amy, I think we need to come in lower. Uh, so do we send them back? We've been talking at it. This yeah. Time. So do we send them back to the drawing board? Well, I I think we need to have a discussion. Do we have a contract with them? We have a signed contract to do this building design, fifteen thousand dollars. Just the design. So that's all. No matter what, if we don't, it's the what design. I'm saying, Buster. You could send them down the road and find somebody else. Yeah, so I think I the thinking. most important thing is we got to decide on the site. On the site, we can use that ten million dollar as a top yeah. top figure. To be to go to town hall. And I mean, from a funding standpoint, too, Mike, we're going to do yeah. scenario not only on the design, but with the Jody, figure out what the financing might look like at yeah. different tiers. Mm -hmm. But I think it's fair to go back to him saying, okay, that's nice. You, you, need, you need to rework this because that's too much. I don't think anyone's wanted to say that in the last meeting, but I think he's probably gotten the message now. He got it. Yeah. And, and I think it's fair within the, what we've already agreed to pay him for him to give us different scenarios that we should be able to react to. And I think to your point from a design in terms of like the back deck, having a deck that overlooks, oh, oh, that, oh, oh, you right. know what I mean? But it should be situated on e either side. Yeah. There's a slope. Right. You want the view. So that, right, yeah. put the back to the houses that we're going to tuck it around, yeah. you know, and the front, have it so that when you come in, you look and you go, oh, look at that. Because that's all conservation restrictions down yeah, below. We talked about sliding into the corner. The front naturally starts to face out. Too, right. so. so there's there's a lot of things we still got to Absolutely. design. Absolutely. There's a lot of design work that needs to be done. But, and I think a, a lot of this design work can be part of this first $15,000 contract to have it designed. Right. Again, but the thing is the site needs to be selected because we don't have the other part of this, which is the site engineering. Right. He's an architect. He draws for a living. Right. <laughs> okay. So we'll have him draw something up that we like. Mm -hmm. And then I think for 15000 yeah, okay, thank you very much. Personally, I can be the one that sends him on his way. I got no problem doing that. I don't think any of us have. Yeah. Send him on his way, and now we find some structural people. So, okay, put the plans together. This is what we want. Here's a picture of what we want. Are we asking him to go back, <clears throat> excuse me, and return to us with a, a, a modified design before the 22nd of December? Is that what you're saying? Because he gave that's like the drop dead date for him. 
in his in the process, current process we're running through, we won't have a design, but pretty much I'd say 90% there or more to go into an estimating process to find out what the two by four is. Who put that time? He did. With, with, with I think based on with him. When he was here, yeah. Oh, is that his contract to have it done by the 22nd? No, we don't have to do it until the end of April, so we have time. He yeah. asked the committee to choose the site by December 22nd at the latest. He is hoping for a December 15th date. So that yeah, that's the blueprints. Site. That's the site. That's the site. site. Yeah, just the site. So we'll well, that's what he'd like, and that's what he'd hope. But I th well, I think well, there's we some practicality. I think it's because it had to go. So it had to, to leave there. In January. It had to leave there and go. Right, he had to go to the, the to the estimator by January first. Hey guys, you got to remember too. The picture he showed us for that for where we're probably going to choose it to be wasn't the picture wasn't even what he was talking about because he said we're going to move it on that North Ave. Uh, Sixteen. We, we so he's it. Got, he's got to do that work anyway. There's no reason work he can't done. I think what you're talking about. I, I think. I think if we look at the deadline. I think the first thing we have to do is figure out where we're going to build it. That's the that's the most important thing. And then the second thing is we need to say the design needs more work. Right. Well, the next thing is we get is we we have a we have a basically a benchmark, a top level. Right. Yeah. We know that what he showed us is ten million dollars. Does anybody here want to spend ten million dollars? No. No. Not unless we have to. Right. right. I say, in my opinion, you guys, everybody has a different opinion. We could bring it in for at least two million less and still have a nice looking building. As long as it has a square foot. The square footage is easy. It's you, easy. You talked to them at four o'clock today. Did they say anything? I told them we need different scenarios. The price is too high. Okay. I told them they needed to reposition the building on the new lot. I did not talk about redesigning a lot of things yet, but that's going to be implied by the different mm -hmm. scenarios. Uh, but we can have another call with them and say, Yeah, you got to remind them, hey, this is a senior center. You know what seniors do? They cut coupons, they save money, they have yeah. limited incomes. And that's what the and thing that we're going by here. Yeah. Yeah. The think town has limited funds. I think you want to be careful, though, just to limit the. I understand this is a, <clears throat> being built as a senior community center, but I'd like to st also be thinking that this is beyond just the seniors from a usage perspective. Oh, okay. As as well, well yeah, we understand we that way back. But right. if we build a building in such a manner, right. got plenty. We're going to have plenty of room on on this North Island 16. Well, I'm resigned to the fact that's where it's going. Point being, I wouldn't yeah. want us to get caught yeah. up. In, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't want us to get caught up in just speaking uh, strictly for the seniors. That this this is an opportunity for the community. Mm -hmm. community. That may get more people on board. That's the point. But in, yeah. in the design, what we're talking about now is we know we know we have a ballpark figure on money that nobody agrees to. Right. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to make concessions. A little bit here, a little bit there. But the most important thing is to put a building in that can be built, add on, right. expanded. Mm -hmm. Not like we don't want to get in a position like we did with the present one where it's impossible. To right. There's just not enough land. land. There isn't enough land. Right. I think I agree. Well, I hear two things. I agree with you, Mark. But the first point, going back to the site. We make a decision on the site. We have Lonnie on the line, I think. Lonnie, you still there? I don't know. Was he there? Uh, I don't know. He was. He may not be. Maybe going into the meeting. Hmm? Is that him peeking in the window? <laughs> <laughs> I've, gotten, I've gotten text from him. Lonnie, looks good. Okay. Dave sent me. It says Lonnie's in the meeting. Yeah, it says Lonnie's in the meeting. What about Dave? Dave's not in a meeting. He sent me a text. Are you there? Yeah, he is. Something to join. Request to join. Oh, all right. Let him in. Let him in. Oh, no, that's a request. That's a whole Yeah, list. that's for the meeting in bank. But right. Lonnie appears to be in the meeting. <laughs> Lonnie, are you in the meeting? Anyway, what I'm getting to, the point I'm getting to, I'd like to make a, an official vote on the tax election because <clears throat> I think that's a piece we need to get to. 
plus yeah. the whole point of time to me. Yeah, that, that, that was the primary. And I believe, I agree with you, there's more design work and there's a lot of pushing there. Because 10 million is too high. Uh, we can do it. I, I've got a text from Chief. And, and we can take a text or not. I don't know if we need it, but we, we can call him. We know oh, what his vote here. was last week. Hmm? We know what his vote was last week. Yeah, uh, he, he, he was a little open minded about it because we oh, were right. talking about money. Yeah. Right. And he said, I think he, we're, we were all open minded about I mean, but. Right. If the as we, the numbers worked, Do but you no. Know. Well, yeah, that's right. I back is against the wall. I think. I think. Yeah, the numbers would have to be really big. To I think. I think we've got confirmation that going up on North Ave, up on North Ave, right. is uh, more of a pain in the butt. Than would someone like to make a motion that we North Ave be the selected site for how we want to phrase it? I'll make a motion to uh, vote on the location of the new. Proposed senior center community center to the uh, old Taft property on the corner of 816 and North Ave. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Yes. I have Dave on a text. I don't know if that matters. Majority rules. Majority rules. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Motion passes. I guess there's any discussion. Yeah. yeah, we discussed. That. I think we had that. Okay, so that piece is included. And now to your point for the next couple of minutes, because really that's all we want to spend tonight. When, Just doing the vote thing. You, you said you're taking the chief's vote. You said that, yes. And how about Lonnie? Is he here or not here? I don't know. Lonnie was. Uh, it could have gone either way. Yeah. Yeah, I think I got the chief who came in here. It's a 16. Yeah, that's okay. Lonnie. I could, let him down. Okay. You could put Lonnie on. I did. Lonnie, Mike, Mark. But so that. I think technically Lonnie abstained. Yeah, okay. It's what? He abstained. abstained. I did too. Okay. All right, so so you got how many votes? My, uh, Mike? Okay, you got one, two, three, four. Okay, that has to take it. And there's Kate on the committee. I am an alternate, so I'm not. It's an alternate. Yeah, that's oh. yeah, that's hard. The, the point is, I think the thing we need to express before we go on, though, as Mike said before, that last week I think it was really insightful. Now we have a site, we all need to get behind that site and say, right. And we will. Because that's, that's the important piece. Uh, because we can't hit Because the key thing is to get a place for these people to get to, go to, and enjoy it. In our lifetimes. <laughs> I have that okay. Now, for the next two minutes or so, but not much more, how do we want to approach this? Uh, Moving into a design uh, redesign, or, or what would you? What, what do you recommend? I could bring in Mike and his team. Well, I think everybody should number one drive around and look at houses. It basically is going to be a house, just a little bigger than a normal house. So mm -hmm. what? What do we? What do we want? Colonial style, square box. Ranch style, long, you know, one floor. I'd like but it I to look like it was always there, you know, like it was all like it's part of the land. I think we left Mike Petrovic and his partner with the goal to make it colonial with some attractive roof lines and attractive living building. That was kind of we left it to the I don't think we have a building code here or a standard doing that. Yes. So. I would probably share with the historic district yeah. what they've done because it's close to it. You know, so well, maybe that any board has. Maybe that we should start invite them to our next meeting. Yeah. And who would that be? Who would we invite? Well, look them up. The local historic district. Is, yeah. We should, yeah. So. Uh, so uh, is yeah. that Ruth? Yeah. Uh, Ruth I'm still an alternate, even though. My term expires. Is it Ruth, Ruth O'Grady or? Yeah, so Deb, Flan Deb Flanagan is the chair. Uh, Dan Byer is the vice chair. 
and then you've got uh, JMO, yeah. um, you've got Ruthlo, I mean, Ruth O'Grady. Ruth O'Grady, thank you. Um, I'm not quite sure. Is that Selectman's that. wife, uh, the ex Selectman's wife, Kathy? Kathy, Kathy? No, she's on the Historical Society. Oh, that's different. Okay. This is sure. the Historical well, yeah. Commission. <laughs> you can also get input from them. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's contiguous. It's not yeah. actually in the district, but it would be a good right. you know, reach out. Yeah. And I, I think we, again, we, Menden's an old town, one of the oldest in Massachusetts. Right. So I think everybody is in agreement that we should go with that theme. Keep it looking like, like you said, like it was there for a million years. Mm -hmm. So we have some options. We can make it look like a uh, Sturbridge Village type building, uh, which is 1600, early 1700, when when the <laughs> Revolutionary War. You, you know what I'm saying? I do. If we, I take do. A, if we take a look around, whether it's a magazine or the encyclopedia or Google, and go and get some ideas on what, what a big old building would be like. Drive around Franklin. All the homes around the Common and everything else, oh, and yeah. Dean up in there, you know, they're all big clubs. Not that this has any bearing on what we're doing, but after the first of the year, I'm going to be assigned to a job site in Franklin, and I'm going to be in charge of building a huge, huge pump station that's worth $12 million. Okay. Wow. So, Take a look at some of the houses yeah. over there. So when when I go back and forth on party, I'll, I'm definitely going to look around. You're going to look around, but the con what I'm saying is, when I when I do a job, it's it's certainly not going to be a house. But I'm dealing with twelve million dollars. I know what twelve million dollars can buy mm -hmm. and and look like. You know, this, this doesn't look like. No, not in my opinion. Well, let me ask from a financial perspective then. What is felt to, to believe to be a comfortable number? Just I would say eight. Eight. No more than eight, I would yeah. say. Yeah. In today's prices, I mean. Eight tops. You know, lumber prices have come down a little bit, but they went sky high there. A sheet of plywood that a couple of years ago that cost $35 was $75. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you know. That's come down when it's still as well. We're not going to go back to the work. So it builds onto those two aspects to work for the architects. One is the, the external, the, the look and feel, right. the redesign. But then there's also these design options to defray cost. Right? So those are probably two separate things you mm -hmm. need to focus on. Correct. And I would say an example of that, and people may only hear this, when I look at the current design, I'm saying, do we have to finish the bottom floor? If the food can't be functional, but could then we bring, could we finish it ourselves after the fact? This in the interior. The first go around, which came in at nine million when he was working with his yeah. partner, um, that was right before the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And when I got that, I was just like my jaw just dropped. And I talked to Kim Newman about it and um, went back to just happened that Mike Petrovic had re reached out to us, um, and I, I explained to him that that wasn't going to fly. And so that's when he did the first redesign mm -hmm. without doing the basement and brought it down to you know three something, which at that time Kim said no, three it, it wasn't gonna be three something, it would end up being like five something at the time. You know, so but so that was the first thing we did. We looked at taking out the, the basement. But isn't it the rooms downstairs going to be so that the community has used to it? Right. Instead of going through the main senior center, they'd have their own entrance. There's restrooms down there for the right. lions, the Girl Scouts, the knitters, the Whatever. I, even Karen had you had texted me and said, have they thought about maybe like renting the room or if somebody wanted a like a, a bridal shower or something? And again, yeah, you wouldn't want them. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, yeah. I think you just go look at all that. The idea right. is to give him have him give us options to understand where the cost lies. I, I mean, you can look at it and figure out where the cost. Like the roof line never would have. That's an didn't hit me. I'm like, oh, that, that's expensive. Didn't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'll, I'll explain that just a little bit so you get a better. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I mean, I get it. I'm just saying, do, I need do, somebody yeah. to say, break it down for somebody like me who's kind of, I'll say, dumb, so I can look at it and say, well, if you don't do this, it saves you this much. Right. Mm -hmm. If you do, even when you think right. about, you know, ex, the, the link he draws up, this is for, ex, you know, expansion. expansion. 
So what if you increase the amount you expand and you start with a smaller footprint? Now, I wouldn't, I would think putting the bones in would make more sense and finish it later from a cost standpoint. But you know what? Yeah, let's get creative because I think I think even eight is top end. You're getting it passed. Well, the, other, the other thing I would throw back to, or maybe it's Dave and Jody, maybe put it up to you guys in the select board, because I still like to understand what the debt, debt reduction is of anything, if there's any. Mm -hmm. I'd also like to find out what the ARP money that may not be assigned to a project, what a ARP, whatever that extra money is. Yeah. Because I was doing the numbers at a town meeting in some other places, and there's you know, 800,000 there that we need to apply to a project mm -hmm. by next year, or we lose that too. And this is a, looks like a project to me, if ever. Yeah. yeah. And that's yeah. where you run right. into competition. I understand. I know there's other things, right. you know, there's talk about road work. Let's get I on road. So, but, I understood. But I, I like to, she's, I like got to, those, she's got those numbers. I like to play in that competition competitive space and say, oh, maybe it's 400,000. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's not 800,000. Or maybe it's true, whatever it may be. But I want I want an opportunity to find those kind of dollars. We've talked to uh, I've talked to Anne, and she's supportive to do things like grounds work around it mm -hmm. from the CPA money, which is sitting out there. There's two million plus out there. I think I don't know. These are numbers and nuggets I pick up. The ADA stuff them. could be CPA, but only CPA grants too. But, but that's where we go back to Mike and say you gave us big round numbers. You need an itemized list of what was driving. Well, there's two, there's two phases to that, right? Yeah. He so can get the us estimator going to give us the detail? Yeah, the estimator gives us the granularity, but we get, there's another phase before that. Okay. He can give us smaller nuggets, and he can break those down finer, and he can take into consideration the things we've talked about. It's like boulders, rocks, and sand. <laughs> well, the sand, we get the, the estimator is the sand. Right. Right. But there, we can take some steps with him. Right. But, I, you know, I that one I would ask. Someone to check with finance or the select board, or we can. I can call that's getting rolled into capital expense stuff, so you'll see it. Okay, as long as because I don't have a picture of any of that, and I think as a committee, we should be able to say, I want a piece of that. Well, I think as a committee, you got to get this into the capital planning queue. Okay. Well, the committee is going to handle the finances. In other words, like so I know that us three are, d are doing the communications, that's what we're dealing with right now, and we will take the lead on trying to. Contact the historical commission Dave, and try to invite them. Dave raised his hand last week, said he'd push the finance. He would. And who else? Just Dave? Just Dave and Mike. And I'm doing the and capital you. planning from the select board side. So okay, it's, great. it's there. So those two guys can be our financial mm -hmm. and then report back that, you know, what, what opportunities we have. And then Mike on the construction side, maybe uh, when you get back, uh, you could kind of. Well, well, again, I think we we start by going around and getting some ideas and bring them back to the table. <laughs> Whether it's as simple as that, maybe a big box or a long rectangle or U shape or, or something. Can I ask a question? Sure. Um, Bellingham's is fairly new, isn't it? Their mm -hmm. senior center and Franklin's is fairly new. Yeah. Franklin, I think, is newer than Bellingham's. They have an up and down. Oh. So does anybody know what the cost for those centers, what they came in at? Well, Franklin's got money, so my guess it was high. I don't know. I went to their open house, and there's a lot of stuff in that building. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I know there's a lot of stuff in there. I don't know what uptown's was. I mean, there's a lot of things I guess. Really one, one that I have to get some pictures that we really liked was Irving. 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 I know, I liked Irving, too. Irving was very nice. It was smaller than what we need. Um, it had a portico and... Um, yeah, it was it was nice. We have firm did do the design that. Further, I mean, the, 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 that piece of property that we just decided on is big enough that why does we again think outside the box? Why does this the senior center slash community center have to be one building? Why can't it be two buildings? We have boxes. One here and one. Over there, yeah. or you get my garage there too. You know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. that like it, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know what I didn't like about it when they were talking about over at 16 and North Ave that they were going <clears> to <throat> have a driveway come in, but the building itself is going to be closer to the street, so there's going to be all this land out behind. 
And then if they wanted to build on all that land out behind, they were going to change this driveway into a road. I, I don't want a road to go by. I mean, I cross Providence Street going back and forth from the parking lot across the street to the senior center, and I think I'm going to become a hood <laughs> ornament sometime. <laughs> That's all it it was, it was a driveway. It, it was going to be like a driveway. It's just it's longer, so it may appear like, but it's not going to be road condition. It's not going to be like a highway. Well, I thought it was saying it was going to be more road. Like right now, it's going to be a driveway, but then we can put sidewalks in and we can walk in and do this and that. I think from a yeah. design standpoint, when you mm. you move the building to the side, like around the trees, mm. there was the driveway slash road away over here, but you'd almost turn into it, so your parking would be over here, so you wouldn't have to cross to get to the building. But it would be a throughway to the back acreage down the hill. That was the thought. But it would be probably actually aligned next to Attacked the, the, the properties that privately owned on the right hand side. If you're looking down the hill on the right hand side, that. I think uh, I think Ian owns it. But the idea was a driveway, then they could right. convert it, it if, they, if anything ever happened to that land at the bottom of the hill. But well, I guess the point is maybe we should think about between here and the next meeting ideas for this design. Everybody come in with their thoughts. And then uh, the other things we need to think about is we know we want a bunch of different rooms. We've got to think about usage for future programs. I think that was brought up in the last meeting. What kind of programs would we have in all these rooms to help flush out that? The financial piece of the next meeting, we should probably start to dive into that, even if it's just a status. We don't have it yet. Uh, so those three are critical pieces. And my question, next question would be next meeting in two weeks. Oh, exactly. Is that a week from Wednesday? A week from Wednesday? Two weeks. Uh, well, is it two weeks from the, the regular meeting of the 28th or two weeks from tonight? I'm thinking of going back to a Tuesday, maybe, right? All right, so then that would be um, the 12th. The 12th or the, the 9th? 28th is a Tuesday. Two weeks from me? I'm flying back to 12th. So the 19th? Plus right. two weeks. If we're saying two weeks from our last uh, meeting. I'm saying about two weeks from today. You're saying two weeks from today. Okay. The 19th. We'll have a Christmas. We'll bring in uh, the Santa Claus house. Yeah. Oh, hot toddies. Hot toddies. There we go. <laughs> so our uh, question. So with the Hope Deal uh, North Ave kind of off table and we're looking at 16 and what that um the element one of the elements with the hope deal is the potential for philanthropic association and a naming of the building in a certain direction so now that that's off the table from that at least from that perspective is there other philanthropic opportunities still with this location on 16 and North that as far as you know a private entity possibly wanting to put a name on the well, yeah. Because it's near, because it's near the main road. Is that what you're thinking, Tom? Because it's well, just the fact that we're no longer dealing with the quote of Hope Deal and all that. That was specific to um, Gary, right, and for Shirley to name the building Shirley yes. Smith, right. Since that location is off the table, we no longer have that dealing with that connection. Now we're looking at a general area of land owned by the town. Would there be an, another philanthropic direction that could potentially be looked at for someone who may want to come in and say, you know what, I'd like to maybe contribute to this if you are willing to? Yeah, I mean, but at that point, we can name a wing a room or instead of a building, a, a wing. Now yeah. we're there. When you drive by, it's going to be mended. Okay. Not, right. Not a private name. citizen. Right. Okay. <laughs> you know, and then when you walk in the building, and they, yeah. A weighing off. Yeah. Okay. Like in the future, we we add on to it. <laughs> this is the, you know, my God is wing. My question, Mike. My God. Did you the check lion, the Lions Club wing, whatever that's yeah. called. Exactly. Okay. I think all those fundraising opportunities we haven't explored yet, but we must, because I think there's potentially some effort there. And I'm not, and I don't know how we link that with the uh, the uh, friends or how we have a, an attachment with independent group to look at the philanthropics of the people who have some substance. I think you're going to have to go like off. I, I I don't think the friends would be able to do that kind of stuff 
I think it's a different kind of it's a different kind of yeah. I, 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 There's no question. Yeah. <clears throat> Such as uh, again, looking at the other design, we have big room that we're going to have a curtain to cut. Mm -hmm. Depending upon what you want for a curtain, that can cost a lot of money, yep. or it could be. It should be a good one. It has to be it, sound. It, it should be, but if it's going to cost a lot of money, then we should it should be built in for future for future that okay, we'll hang a curtain up for now. Mm, I don't I'm know. If I'm, doing that. Doing that. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get you're a donation. Gonna, so you're not going to have to. Oh, get a donation to pay for the new wall. Okay. And that wall becomes, you know, okay. the wall was was Joe Rat the the, <laughs> the trash man. <laughs> you know. I just want to say <clears throat> I've been involved in this <clears throat> expansion project for ten years now, and honestly, at this point, I will probably bow out of any because. I've gone over it again and again with the first set of architects and then with Mike with the second go around and now with Mike and the third talking about what do we need? What are our needs? Where can we, you know, using the present site, just ex trying to figure out where we could, um, you know, reconfigure it to. And I just feel like, I mean, it sounds like you want to reinvent the world and I'm just, I've, I've done it like three three times now, what our needs are. And I was, I was told when I worked this time around with Mike that, it was going to be a similar, no matter where it was, it was going to be a similar design. Right. Because if we did that, like, for whatever reason, that he was working under that perimeter. I thought, honestly, if it's going to be at a different site, boy, doesn't that give us the opportunity to create something different? I just, I'm getting tired. <laughs> oh, he that, said, he said the cost understand. would be the same. That's very understand. That's understand. Yeah, you know, in terms of what we, what, are, what, what our needs are after just seeing it. Yeah, and you're here. working without an assistant, and the, the joint is hopping. Yeah. Puts in far too many Tuesday hours. Tuesday is my night that I have permission yeah. to work late, and I usually, you know, to do it there. To cause we have a, I don't get my work done until the center closes. Then I can start to do it. So, but I, so I guess I'm a little bit frustrated when I hear you trying to, because we've talked about that center, you know, partition several oh, times. Oh yeah, and, but I'm, and and again, like I said, I understand perfectly, and I'm not casting that off to the side. But unfortunately. These are things we're going to have to look at to cut money to, to whittle down from 10, yeah. 10 million to eight. Well, at least. Well, so I, I think what we have to do then is be clear on where Amy's been involved for 10 years, and it sounds like the needs have pretty much been the same for 10 years, pretty much. Well, they're growing. They're growing. They're growing. growing. Well, they're growing since COVID, especially. Yeah. We can't use the center like we did before. No, we can't. But it sounds like there are some specifics that. We, you I really wouldn't want to not see happen, right? right? I, I think so. I think we need to identify what those specifics are that we, we can't wait on, and then separate that from maybe what are the potential mm -hmm. things we can wait mm -hmm. on. So that I think that'll come out though as we give them scenarios. So sure. if Mike comes in and says, I, "You don't have to have that sliding soundproof barrier on the top floor. I can do it this way," Amy will the opportunity to say. We need us. We need the soundproof because of these types of activities are going on. So you can't have the the cross noise, something like that. So I think if we get him to think about where the opportunity is to defray cost mm -hmm. and understand. We'll start to it'll start to become quite apparent what we can live with yeah. out or what we have to the must have versus a nice time. And there's also areas that we need the ADA the ADA funding or we'll try to get a grant or some earmark money. That's three hundred seventy-five thousand dollars for a green town to put a complete green system in there. It's going to cost a bit more, but how much more can you get from the feds or the state? And, and thought that HVAC would be where if you thought the green community stuff would come in. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So that's well, it. We'll invite her back for another meeting. We actually we sh we have a green communities coordinator. I'm not sure the name, but. We do. It's moved around. It, used to do, it might be Dan, actually. We've got two more times. Dan. Yeah. Okay. That kid, he must never sleep. I don't want to belabor this. We made progress. We've got a lot of work to do. We're supposed to have fun with this, too. But we're not losing the ball. This is yeah, exactly. But one thing to realize, Amy, back to your point, the things that you've given to Mike, whether the room is two boxes next to each other, two rooms together, or they get scattered, 
I think the requirements you've laid out with him for rooms are good. I don't think mm -hmm. we're going to question those. No. It's the way you maybe design the box. Mm -hmm. The way, that, so these requirements we have here, there's some overflow areas that we built downstairs mm -hmm. that might be some potential for savings. Right. So I think you, your work's not gone for naught. Mm -hmm. You've grown this and watched it grow. We still need you. And I know you don't have any time, unfortunately. That question, uh, senior, senior sentinel, sentinel goes out. Who, who puts that out? Senior, senior. Amy does. Should we start putting something in about this project into that? We have been. We have been, but we hadn't had nothing about the site because. No, I, just, I mean, I looked through the last, I just got one. I it's right on the front page. Okay. It, it well, says you mean the senior wrong. scene? You mean the senior scene? Isn't the that what Sentinel doesn't doing? exist anymore. It's the senior so, scene. On the front page, it says that you the top. are making a decision this month okay. and that you will be bringing something to the select board's attention in January. I'm talking about just purely marketing, not an update on the project, but market the, mm. the mm -hmm. program. Mm -hmm. and, and But I looked for it and I couldn't find it. What, what, do, you, what do you mean? Well, you, you said that it had an update saying we're, we're, we're working on it, we're going to give an update to the select board. I'm talking more marketing, like push the... Yeah. Kind of like the what you did for the boat race. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got to take a picture yeah. of Phil with both boards <laughs> and Come on, cut the cut. No, no, so, so this issue, this issue was a two-month issue, so we didn't have a lot of space to do it. We can actually also just put a. a yeah, I'm just saying. That I looked at it because I, I said, huh. And I looked through it. And I go, I yeah. wonder. Make it more prominent. Yeah. It's your it's your communication vehicle. Yeah. Use it. Like, so what I'd say put a picture of the potential building or something. Come up with one page, one page with everything that you want to say, and we'll just stick it in as an insert. So give it its own because yeah, I, I just think you don't want to lose the opportunity for yeah, people yeah. to put out. When they, the one that you gave out at the yeah. special town meeting, like up, update that maybe. I think it needs to be tweaked a little. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think. Uh, no, that was can, the one, the one page yeah. one. He Amy, had both. He had both. He did have both. But. Amy, when's the deadline for the January? Right? No, January is a double issue. issue. Well, double when's issue. the next deadline? It was February. For the February issue, it would be like January 15th. Okay. Was there any feedback on the curiosity from or since the special town meeting when that flyer went out to folks? Was there any feedback? I haven't heard. We didn't hear anything. Well, I mean, the people that took them from us we'll were. We're very happy to, and they were like, yeah, and on, on Karen's page, the Menden page, she posted it that we need a big vote, and I thought 90, 99% of the was positive. Was positive. Yeah. It was just one person who said, you know, no, we yeah. need housing. But yeah. And, and as we look at the different designs, get that out to the people. Right. We're looking at this, we're looking at that. This is cost, it has a potential to cost this, this has a potential to cost that. So people are going on, and then they, at least they're working it. They work, and then they can say, you know what? I like that building. I don't care if it costs $10 million. Yeah, I didn't or, no, that's, don't that's we don't need that. that. <laughs> In this town? <laughs> You'd be surprised. <clears throat> but, but, okay, January 15th, we'll make sure we get it before that. Okay, our meeting's two, two weeks from Tuesday, tomorrow. What day is today, Monday? It would be the 19th, I think you said. 19th. I'll be sure to put this <clears throat> one, one last thing before we end. Yes. I just want to thank Ann Mazar for the work that she did in looking into the Conservation Commission because I know cool. she she felt like she had to be the the you know the bearer of bad news. So when she brought this forward, so um, I appreciate her her life work in looking into this because um, I think she maybe, was. Maybe this committee should send a letter of thank you for. I can do yeah. that. I mean, yeah, I can do that. Yeah. yeah. I think I think she ended up putting in some time and energy into that. And even even thinking that it she knew it was going to be a big ordeal. So anyhow. Yeah, just, we were going down a different path. She raised right. the flag, which was good. So anyhow, just sure. we didn't want to shoot that messenger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I'll send it. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else? I still think we should invite. Batman and yeah. uh, Murray to these meetings, give them an open invitation, and maybe every time we post a meeting, send them an invite. Yeah, Batman's a, a, 
Batman's uh, assistant is pretty good. He's yeah. pretty Christian, so he's a pretty good guy. He responds. I don't. I don't have a problem when we go. Okay, good night, everybody, and we're, we're yucking it up outside here, grabbing them and saying, "Hey, you know, old people vote, and if you want, <laughs> you know, I'll put it right to them." Batman was giving my my daughter's business owners an award for best female entrepreneur in Worcester for her design company. Probably she's a staunch Democrat. She's Republican. That doesn't matter. <laughs> she take the picture and stick it in her office. <laughs> was, it's yeah. a common good. It was a common good. She got to the world. It is. Okay, good point. I have I have that. Okay, meeting adjourned. Do we take a vote on that yeah. or what? Okay. I'm in favor. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Thank you. Thank you for the information. I appreciate that. I know you went above and beyond. And I have to say that the parade, the Brothers of the Brush, it was outstanding. Oh my the parade God. was just fabulous. Oh, team effort. It really uh, was. It was, all it, was. Together. Oh. it was. It was a nice, nice family event. It was. So kudos to you guys. Well, we had great, uh, great treats offered by the historical commission. The church next door opened up their doors and yep. up the yep. hoodies. The Girl Scouts were there doing their part. So yeah. great DJ, photographer. Yes, yes, yes. Is that the same one from Rock the Block? I wonder if it was the same just from Rock the Block. Yeah. Right. So anyone else watched the event? They're called Lock the Block.